Well, to the day's other top story now, and spring may have started, but many farmers are already praying for rain, especially those in North Canterbury. Gordon Finlater spoke to Federated Farmers about the current drought conditions in parts of the region. Many farmers in North Canterbury are already feeling the pinch with this year's rainfall levels at close to half of the average to date. With the country currently experiencing El Nino, many weather experts are predicting this summer to be our driest in decades. Federated Farmers North Canterbury representative Dan Hodgen spoke with CTV News about how badly farmers need a decent rainfall. I don't think we've had a, a rain event in the last, well, since June last year that's been over about 25 or 30 mils in a day, so that, that, that gives you an idea um, of how far behind we are. One, it's the one thing with El Nino is they do predict a cold, colder and wetter spring in general for the East Coast, but um, we're certainly not seeing that at the moment. Um, but uh, no, we just need decent rain. I mean, the soil's so far behind, it's already in a deficit at this time of year. Last year it was bloody wet. Things are having to be kept tight as farmers prepare for the worst. If the spring rain doesn't arrive, rural towns could pay the price. The likes of the RNO, you've got to remember that while we have a bit of tourism, we have a, a, a fairly successful sort of wine region, um, a large amount of the economic activity in our, in our communities as a whole is driven from farming. And uh, if the dry land's under the pump because of the weather and, the, and the, the irrigated and dairy farmers are under the pump because of the payout, it, it's shaping up to be a pretty, pretty lean Christmas, put it that way. With agriculture a big player in the economy, a major drought event on the east coast will have a flow-on effect to the rest of the country. Doing a one livestock agent, he reckons he could potentially be sort of 30% down on the number of lambs he he puts through this season. And when you think about it, that that flows through to the to the trucking company, and it flows through to to the meat works and the shorter season. Um, right the way through the chain to the ports to everybody. He is hoping spring can provide a few downpours for those in need before what is expected to be a very warm summer. Gordon Findlater, CTV News.